Welcome to the homework for lesson two. This is module seven of grade three. Get your name on here first, please. And uh, we're using RDW process to solve. That's read, draw, and write. Where we're writing an equation and an answer statement. A uh, box containing three small bags of flour weighs 950 grams. Each bag of flour weighs 300 grams. How much does the empty box weigh? Right, so when we put something on the scale, it's in a container. The container weighs something too. So, and the actually the bags weigh something too. But the bag of flour, bags of flour are 300. So that's one bag. That's two bags. That's three bags. So that's 900. And we need 950. So there's this, B for the box, and the whole thing weighs 950 grams. So these three hundreds, that's 900. So B, here's our equation now, the box must weigh the difference between the flour, which is 900, right, the total is 950, and you should be able to do that mentally. Just subtract the hundreds and you've got 50 grams left. I should label this to just say that this is one one bag of flour. Mr. Cullen needs ninety one carpet squares. He has forty nine carpet squares. If the squares are sold in boxes of six, how many more boxes of carpet squares does Mr. Cullen need to buy? All right, so he needs 91, and he has 49. And we have to figure out not, we have to, first we have to figure out how many carpet squares he needs, and then figure out how many boxes that's going to take. And hopefully it's going to be a multiple of six. Now that's so that makes it a two step problem. We have to figure out two things. We have to figure out what he needs first, which is going to be pretty easy. Uh, we have he needs here's the 91 he needs. Let's see, he has this is what he has, right? He has 49, and that's what he needs. Uh, this is what he has, right? And this is what he has to buy, B. But just put that right in there, B. And 91 is what he needs for whatever he's using the carpet squares for. So, let's see, do we have to use, yep, use a letter to represent the unknown, so we still have to do that. So, B equals... 91 minus 49. Now, mentally, I could use a compensation strategy to solve this. I think that 49 is almost 50. So if I added 1 to it, it would be 50. So what's 92 minus 50? That's 42. Or you could just solve it 
you know, you could do it vertically too. That would work. And you don't have enough ones to subtract nine ones, so you have to decompose a ten. Eight tens left. Eleven, eleven ones minus nine ones is two. And then eight minus four is four. Forty-two. And then, uh, so now we have to figure out how many boxes of carpet squares he needs to buy. So that's 42 divided by 6 is going to equal how many? We'll just write H for how many. which is 42 divided by 6 is 7. He needs seven boxes of carpet squares. Erica makes a banner using four sheets of paper. Each paper measures nine inches by ten inches. What is the total area of Erica's banner? Okay, so Erica's making a. She's got four sheets of paper. The total area is. So our unit is a sheet of paper. And each one is 9 by 10, and we need to know the total area. So we we could figure out what the area is of each piece of paper, and then multiply that by 4, and that will give us the total area. So first figure out what, how much our unit is, and then multiply that by 4. That's the two steps. So here's the banner. Right, the whole banner is four sheets of paper, right? And maybe you don't have to draw this exact same picture that I'm drawing. There's the whole banner, right? And it's nine by ten. So if this side is nine and this side is ten, then we know if this side is ten, then this side is also ten, and that's ten, and that's ten. So maybe this picture will give us kind of a shortcut. We don't have to know what the area is of, of each piece of paper. It could work out here that we just know that this side here is four tens. That's 40. So the total area is going to be 40, right? And we're multiplying the length, that's 40, times the width times 9. And this is going to be in, since this is inches, we're going to be, our area is going to be in square inches. This is going to be the unit for our area. So let me label this too before I forget. This is one banner, one, uh, one sheet of paper. So 40 times 9 do our, we can write down our mental math here. 4 times 9 is 36. And then 36 times 10, 360. Three hundred sixty square inches. Monica scored thirty-two points for her team at the Science Bowl. She got five four-point questions correct. The rest of her points came from answering three-point questions. How many three-point questions did she get correct? So we have a total of thirty-two points. draw the tape diagram and I'm just going to draw this 
I'm not even going to think about it really. I'm just going to kind of draw what it says I have. Uh, she scored 32 points. So this whole thing is going to be 32 points. She got five four-point questions correct. So that's four, 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 four. There's five fours. And the rest of them came from answering threes. How many three-point questions did she get correct? All right, so this is... Five times four, which is twenty, and this is, and the rest of it is in threes. So thirty two minus. 20, this is going to be the, we'll call that T for the three point questions. This section here is going to be in, that's the rest of it, which is going to be threes. That's 12. Now let's not be lazy about it and write. T equals 12, and now I have to divide this into three-point questions. And you could do this by just drawing the threes, or you could write the division equation. How many, what we need to find out is how many three-point questions there are. And that is the total of 12 divided by three points per question. You may already know 12 divided by 3 is 4. But we could just draw the threes. Now, really, you could just and you could skip count your way up for this the whole thing without doing both equations. You just count by fours to get to twenty, and then start counting up by threes, right? So you know that's twenty. There's twenty-three, twenty-six, twenty-nine, thirty-two. Oh, that's it. I got to thirty-two. And then you realize you don't even need this end right here, so you can just erase it off of your... tape diagram and just adjust this arm there. You could have done it that way without even writing down all these equations. Just counting it up. That would work fine. So... She got four... Uh, we want three point. We want to write the word three. Because we otherwise it's going to look like 43. She got four three point questions correct. Kim's black kitten weighs 174, 5 grams. Her gray kitten weighs 43 grams less than the black kitten. What is the total weight of the two kittens? All right, so I'm not going to overthink this, but here's Kim's black kitten. B, that's the black kitten B. That's 175. And then... We need the total weight of the two kittens, right? So there was the black one, and there's the gray one, which we don't know. Uh, and then we need, what we need is the total weight, W for the weight, or T for total would be fine too. So we don't know what the G is, but we know it's 43 less than the 175. So that's G, the weight of the gray kitten, is 
43 less than 175. So that's And you could solve this vertically pretty easily. Because there's no regrouping necessary. And then we know that the weight is going to be this 132 plus the 175. And you could add this up vertically, too. Uh, but you might be able to do it mentally. Just looking at those digits, they're pretty friendly ones to work with. And you'll see what I mean when I write it down vertically. Because you don't, you don't have more than nine ones. Three hundred seven. And it's grams. Cassius and Javier's combined height could be Javier too, I suppose, um, is 267 centimeters. Cassius is, Cassius is 128 centimeters tall. How much taller is Javier than Cassius? So let's see. Uh, together, we have Javier and Cassius. I'm not even thinking about this. I'm just drawing the first sentence that I know the two of them put together is 267 centimeters. And I know that Cass, now I can just fill in what else I know as I read. Cassius is 128. So we know what C, Cassius is 128. And we need to figure out the difference between Javier and Cassius. So we don't know how tall Javier is yet. We have to figure that out and then we can figure out the difference between the two. So two hundred sixty seven minus one hundred twenty eight and I don't really don't see any mental shortcuts right off my. So I'm going to decompose at 10. 5 tenths left, 17 ones. 17 minus 8 is 9. 5 minus 2 is 3. And 2 minus 1 is 1. Let me clean up that 2 there because it kind of looks like a, a 12 with that stray mark I made. All right, so if we know that this is the hundred, this is 139, we have to find out the difference between the taller, right? And that's going to be the 139, the 200, uh, the 100, 139, Javier's height minus Cassius's height, the 128. This is going to be really easy to do vertically because the digits will just work out. You don't have to do any regrouping. Oops, 9 minus 8 is not 7. That's a 1. And 3 minus 2 is 1. And that's it. It's just 11. 